channel dear viewers today we're gonna give you the meaning of learn to read but before anything else please click the like and the subscribe buttons you can share this video and give your comments below lola lucy can you define learn to read learn to read as i promise you i'm gonna give you its meaning but please view first the children's photos that we have prepared for you. Let us enjoy the photos of these little ones. The first photo is baby Gwen C. Quinto. For short, she is fondly called GCQ. She lives in Puerto Galera, also known as the paradise in the Philippines. The second photo shows baby Gion. He lives in the beautiful island of Oriental Mindoro, also in the Philippines. The third photo reveals another cute baby. Her name is Solana, the sunshine baby who lives in USA. And the fourth photo presents our darling Sev. He also lives in USA. His lovely grandma is Mrs. L.D. Ferrer, and she is Lola, Lola Lucy's batchmate in high school. Oh, all cute and smart. The photos display young children who are emergent literacy models. When we say emergent literacy, it only means the babies or toddlers are showing signs of early reading. In other words, they are our learn to read models. I think I'm getting the meaning of it. Learning to read starts at that stage, from infancy to early childhood. Ages of the toddlers or preschoolers up to primary levels. We all know that primary levels are grades one, two, and three. But the latter, that's grade three, is slowly transitioning to the next level. These young kids can see the letters or the alphabets, the paper, and the prints on that paper. They can figure out the illustrations or pictures and the text of the story. Taught and guided by their parents, they can hear the sound of the story or of each letter in a word in that story. In short, these children are beginning to have an understanding of each of the following five skills. And they are phonological and phonemic awareness, alphabetics, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. Let's discuss each of the following five skills. A, phonological and phonemic awareness. This is the basic and essential part of learning to read. With the help of the parents, the children should be aware of the phonemes or sounds that make up the words. 
Now, let me discuss the difference between the phonemic or phonological awareness from the phonics. Phonological and phonemic awareness deal with the sounds that we hear. And phonics deals with the letters we see. Letter B, alphabetics. This refers to letter knowledge. We commonly know this as the ABCs and phonics instruction. Let's go to letter C, that's fluency. Fluency is the ability to read a text correctly and quickly with an understanding of punctuation marks to properly pause and stop when needed. To improve this skill, one needs practice. Parents should help the child and expose them to variety of genres, examples, rhymes, narrative poems, and bedtime stories. Let's go to letter D, vocabulary. It refers to the meaning of words and, and identifying each word. Learning more words gives an impact on reading comprehension. And that brings us to letter E, comprehension. It means understanding the message of the text or the story. Glad to know the learn to read concept and skills needed to achieve it, Lola Lucy. By the way, we have another photo here. You said that at the age of four months, your grandson has started to show his interest in reading? Yes, that's true. We're introducing children's books to our baby. And that photo was taken when our baby was skimming the pages of the book, The Class Ladybug. The very first book that I, that I wrote here in Canada. And the funny thing was, he also tasted its page and tried to eat a portion of it. <laughs> That's so cool. By the way, Lola Lucy, is The Class Ladybug the first book you'll read aloud here? That's a good idea, Teacher Katie. But our storytelling sessions can be thematic. I'm learning from you, Lola Lucy. Another question about this topic, learn to read. What's your advice to the parents, guardians, and teachers out there? First is to develop reading skills early, very early. Don't wait for the moment when the child is already schooling. You know what psychologists say, just as we exercise our bodies, reading is an exercise for our brain. So don't take reading skills for granted. Examples I have here, my newly released book. This is Love Fishbeak. And you can hold the book and let the child hold the book, show the animals, or you can ask, instead of just telling that these are penguins, read the author, Lucy Lombas, and the illustrator, uh, who is Nisansala Alvis from Sri Lanka. Then you open the book and show here, show the letters. These are the letters, the alphabets. And don't forget also to show the punctuation marks. Here we have comma, then this one, 
Uh, we have comma here and then period and exclamation point. Then we have the, the question mark. We have also the page numbers below. Uh, now, why do we have to tell them that there are punctuation marks? Because this should be observed to slow down in reading. Okay? Wait, Lola Lucy. I've just recalled, just for clarification, do you really mean that a child learns to read during infancy? Yes, teacher Katie. Actually, experts say pregnant moms, the pregnant women, uh, can read stories to them when their babies are still inside their wombs. And at birth, can you see this sponge? Yeah. Like the sponge, the child's mind absorbs the letters, the sounds of those letters, words, vocabulary, and the language in, right there in the infancy stage. And when we say infancy stage, it includes newborn, infants, toddlers, preschool, and school, school age, yes. They can also normally see the, the, the book and the letters there and the sounds are all connected. Such are all formed here in inside the brain. So the parents' significant role includes helping them understand the words written on that book's page, and later they get the meaning of those words. Hello everyone, I'm Isabella, 9 years old pupil of Lombosco Academy. Today, I'd like to greet and congratulate Mrs. Lombos teacher Kate and our teachers on their blog lunch. I learned many things from you, dear teachers. I'm happy that you are vlogging now. Wow, you will read a loud story. That's exciting. Good luck and I love you all. Mwah. That's Ella Garcia greeting us and reading a book. We hope you learned something today. Thanks to Ella Garcia for sending us her photo and video on, for this episode. On our next vlog, we will discuss the meaning of read to learn, where and when Ella has slowly transitioned to. There you go, dear viewers. Now, we would like to request you to click the like and the subscribe buttons and stay tuned with us. That's all for today. Thank you, dear viewers. Thank you, Lola Lucy. Don't forget also to hit the notification bell for updates. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you, Teacher Katie. See you soon. <laughs>